anataka kuongea mambo ya spiritual prisons ama magereza ya kiroho ama jera za kiroho ninaziita kwa za kiroho kwa sababu kuna mtu wako kwa ibada hii na sijui ni nani physically you are not bound physically you are fairly free lakini unakuta kiroho umefungwa nataka kusema ya kwamba it happens that one is physically free but spiritually you are bound unaweza kuta umefungwa afya yako imefungwa iko kwa magereza isaia 42:22 i think aliona watu ambao walikuwa kwa magereza na watu ambao walikuwa kwa mashimo na akasema hakukuwa na mtu wa kusema waachiliwe so people go through prisons lakini ukiangalia nje hawako kingongo hawako maximum your health can be in prison bwana yesu apewe sifa fedha zako na utajiri zinaweza kuwa kwa jera kwa hivyo unaweza kuwa uko kwa prison inaitwa ya poverty uko diko umefungiwa kuna a lot of oppression in the works of your heart unaweza kuta kazi ya mikono yako iko kwa gereza doa yako iko kwa gereza sisi tunawaona vile mume match vitege <laughs> bwana apewe sifa na vile mnakanyanga mkikuja ibada hapa kwa hapa but in a prison it happens na pia unaweza kuta ya kwamba ni biashara yako ama huduma huduma za watu hufungwa mimi yangu iliishi kufungwa miaka mingi kwa hivyo mimi ukiniuliza niko na ujuzi wa huduma kufungwa na inawekwa kwa gereza na ina na inafungiwa kuna huduma za watu ziko maximum marago ni kama saba ndio ufike mahali huduma yako iko mimi sija kuja kuua mtu moyo tutiga kodo ro wa makali ate fasta wa ro ganeli mimi naogea juu ya yangu imefungwa na family hotels ikuje ifungwe na territorial powers ifungwe na jina ambalo unaitwa bwana yesu apewe sifa so unakuta kuna gate kama tatu ndio ufike kwa freedom yako ya kuhudumu ama ya kutumikia Mungu it is the will of god to deliver us from all kinds of prisons i want to let you know today ni mapenzi ya Mungu kutufungua kutokana na jera za kila aina iwe ni ya afya iwe ni ya kimasomo kuna masomo ya watu yako prison na kama vile nimesema matuda ya kazi ya mikono yetu iwe ni doa iwe ni huduma it is the will of god to deliver us from all prisons i have a proof na haya maandiko matatu ya kwanza ni psalms 34 verse 19 haraka sana tunaendelea the bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous but god delivers them from them all hiyo ni assurance number one. ya kwamba mtu mtakatifu anaweza kuwa na vifungo vya aina nyingi he can be in many troubles so you can be in several troubles according to this word iwe huduma imefungwa afya imefungwa jamii imefungwa na pesa zimefungwa but it is the will of god to deliver us from them all that is scripture number one. to prove ya kwamba Mungu ako na nia ya kufungua kila mmoja wetu. New King James version niwekewe Psalm 69 verse 33 Zaburi 69 mstari wake wa 33 New King James version ikiwezekana. Biblia inasema ya kwamba for the Lord hears the poor and does not despise his prisoners. For the Lord hears the poor and does not despise his prisoners todo gaini igua gatheni na dali ya anyarara kana kahuthia kana kagutindanirira na aria mohetwo you are in the mind of god your marriage is in the mind of god your financial life is in the mind of god he does not despise his prisoners that is second scripture to prove what i'm saying and also Psalms 146 dio tuingie kwa subtopic nyingine Psalms 146 New King James version still 
inatuonyesha ya kwamba Mungu ako na haja na wale wote wamefungwa. Semekana yule amebarikiwa ni yule tumaini lake liko kwa Mungu ambaye aliuba bingu na inchi. The sea and all that is in them. Aliyeuba bahari na vyote vilivyomo. Who keeps truth forever? Huyo Mungu ambaye anaweka haki ama ukweli milele na milele. Who executes justice for the oppressed? Wale ambao wamefinyiliwa, yeye huhakikisha kwamba haki imetendeka. Who gives food to the hungry? Anahakikisha walio cha anawapatia chakula. The Lord gives freedom to the prisoners. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Na huyo Mungu ambaye aliuba bingu na inchi, akauba bahari na vyote vilivyomo, anapea wale ambao wako na jaa chakula. Biblia inasema ya kwamba pia inampendeza wakati anapoachilia uhuru kwa wale ambao wamefungwa. Katika neema ya neno hili ninatangaza vifungo vyote kwa maisha yetu vikatike kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Every captivity to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kuna watu hata ni mawazo yao yamefungwa. Yeye huwa anawaza opposite. Kwa sababu mawazo ndio ilishikwa kwanza wakati ilitangazwa corona ni mingi mawazo ika ikashikwa ika mateka na ikaonyeshwa possibility ya kuenda na nea mawazo yako iambia hakuna mahali nimeenda kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na nea moyo wako uambia hakuna mahali unaenda kuna watu mawazo yao iko kwa captivity they think negative haoni akiishi kwa mume wake na kuambia utaenda tu lakini ukionyesha mawazo yako ukipeana kwa umateka ya kwamba hautoboi Bwana Yesu apewe sifa ways of our deliverance ways of our deliverance tumeona ni mapenzi ya Mungu kutukoboa hata tukoboa aje kuna kitu ninafaa kufanya dio nikobolewe huu mateka utaisha aje i want us to read from or to learn from the book of acts nataka tujifunze na kitabu cha matendo ya mitume na tutaona aina tatu ya jia ambazo Mungu hutumia anatuondoa kutoka kwa kila umateka wewe jie uta uta di, okay uta apply hili neno ya jia ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu lakini uhakikishe umetoka kwa umateka wowote kwa nini kwa sababu ni mapenzi ya Mungu kutuondoa kutokana na umateka wa kila aina it is not the will of god for you to be bound it is not Jia namba ya kwanza ya kutukomboa is God's divine intervention. God's divine intervention. Kuna wakati Mungu mwenyewe anaamua huyu nitakomboa na anafanya mambo zake na anatukomboa. Na ni vizuri hata tunapoomba kumwambia Mungu tumana nikobolewe kwa sababu uko na nguvu na uweza wa kunikomboa tu. Apostles in the book of Acts chapter 5 Yaani mitume wamehubiri watu wamepona miujiza imetendwa Sadducees wakawashika wakawaweka in the common prison Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba during the night God sent an angel Kuna jela ambayo Mungu atatuma malaika na mpendwa utakuja utaachiliwa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Ingine Mungu anatumana tu. Anasema Julia aachiliwe. Mother ni arogosho. Divine intervention and we need it. Ile ya Mungu mwenyewe. Yeye na bingu anakaa chini na wanasema yule mtu asifungwe tena. Asifinyiliwe. Baba ninaomba katika majira haya na kwa neema ya neno hili utume malaika. Kwa maisha ya watu wako kwa ibada hii and every captivity to be broken in Jesus name kuna maisha ya mtu unaweza angalia hivi ni vile tu hauoni nyororo ni vile tu hauoni nyororo lakini yale maisha yamefungwa na mimi ni mshuhuda ya kwamba wakati mwingine even without our efforts Mungu anaweza tu amua kukuja na anafanya uachiliwe na uwe huru na uwe huru kabisa that is way number one to our deliverance god's divine intervention here, pity, it's a cause for self-participation. 
self participation that is way number 2 utakuonyesha bado hawa ni akina Paul wanakuta msichana ambaye amefungwa na roho na wale ambaye or the master yule ambaye alikuwa mwenye huyu msichana alikuwa anapata fedha he was gaining kupitia hii roho ilikuwa na huyu msichana verse 17 wameshukuliwa wamepelekwa na yule ambaye ambaye alikuwa na benefit na hii roho na imesemekana wanasubua kijiji mzima and when they had raid many stripes on them they threw them into prison commanding the jailer to keep them securely wamefungwa verse 24 having received such a charge he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks they were taken into the inner prison na waliachiliwa kwa sababu baadaye tutaona waliachiliwa kwa hivyo hata wewe ambaye unasikia mimi niko kwa inner prison hata huko nguvu za Mungu zinaweza fika kwa jina la Yesu Kristo najua kuna issues zinaonekanaga kama haitawaitendeka mm-hmm. but something happened acha tuone verse 25 but at midnight ah mgesho kwa kila midnight ninyi imetajwa tena midnight so there is a secret about midnight but at midnight Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God this is our key verse now they were praying and singing hymns to God and the prisoners were listening to them what happened verse 26 suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed they were praying and singing hymns to god hiyo nimesema hii inaitwa self participation ile yako unahusika unahusika kufanya nini kuomba na kumusifu mungu unaachiliwa kuna jela hautawahi toka usipoelewa siri ya maombi na sifa jirani yako bali mwambie maombi na sifa na sifa sio lazima uibe hizi nyimbo compost tengeneza yako lelele meshata rababo sana unaiba praises hymns worship kwanza unataja wale character ambao waibaji hawataji sana wewe unaendea hawa meli kizedeki unaiba sasa hiyo unafua nguo mama alafu unatoka hapo unaamka midnight ama saa tisa ama asubuhi na mapema unaomba there is a level of deliverance you will never realize kama prayer life yako iko na shida mm. wakati unaomba kuna vitu hukatika wakati unafunga kuna vitu vinaondoka isaia 58 inasema ya kwamba we pray we fast to loosen the yokes of the enemy so kama hauombi hii ya kufunga haijatajwa hapa lakini tunajua it is inclusive kama hausifu ni vibaya sana kusifu sande tu sande abia jirani ni vibaya sana kusifu sande tu sande na ninajua tuko victims najua watu wengi hapa huoba katikati ya wiki hapa najua watu huoba katikati ya wiki unaipa unasifu kivi yako ukiamuka kuomba wacha kuingia kwa maobi directly fafa then wale tu aliaje so kristo otoria dira kuileta ila hapana hapana tiga kuajia hau we unakosea anza kwa kusifu mtukuse mungu kwa nyimbo zako mwenyewe sifu kwa dimi if you can speak in tongues you can praise in tongues hiyo ndio ilisaidia paul and cyrus mother ni arogosho prayers and singing hymns that is praise and worship wacha tusome hii itatusaidia kuelewa zaidi mm-hmm. Psalms 142 Psalms 142 set me free from my prison that i may praise your name set me free from my prison what is that that is a prayer set me free from my prison hilo ni ombi so kama uko kwa jela na hauombi mungu huwa anafikiria you are comfortable 
Daudi neguo atua we sawa. Daudi alipona hii ni prison. Alimwambia Mungu, set me free from my prison. Sikuwe na mtu katika ibada hii ataambia Mungu nifungue kutokana na hiki kifungo. Nifungue kutokana na hii jera ya kukopa na kuaibishwa. Nifungue kutokana na hiki kifungo cha nguo moja kila Jumapili. Kweli ya shio ni nyingi. Wana wa Israeli Biblia inasema ya kwamba ni kulia walilia. Na Mungu akasikia kilio chao akatuma nani? Musa. What is crying? Si ni kuomba. Unajua hata kulia ni kuomba. Kulia ni ruga. Mimi kuna wakati nilienda mbele za Mungu na si kutoa neno hata moja. Ile unasikia unasukumwa mpaka. Unalia tu. And you get relieved. And you get peace. So kama hutaomba kwa maneno lia, abia jirani alie. Lakini ajifunze kulia ya worship na hata ya maombi. Kuna kilio ya worship. Unasikia tu huyu Mungu ni mwingi na ni mwema na ni mwaminifu. Nikiseme hivi ninapoenda kwa the third part. Usiwai kubaliana na captivity yoyote. Dokane tekane lia na umateka owothe. Iwe ni ya nini ama ni ya nini usiwai kubaliana. Mapendwa nimekuja kuelewa mambo mengi kwa maisha yetu ni vile tulikubaliana yani unapitia shida unaizoea ni kama unakubaliana especially something that you know it has a spiritual solution just do the necessary biblia inasema ya kwamba daudi alilia set me free na uko na backup ya maandiko it is the will of god to set the prisoners free so usikubaliane nayo the last way of deliverance of course not the last kabisa but nasema kati ya zile tuko nazo tatu siku ya leo njia nyingine ya Mungu kukukomboa kutokana na umateka wako ni maombi ya wengine maombi ya wengine yatakusaidia utoke kwa umateka so you need others you need maombi ya wengine tukiambiwa twende ushirika enda unahitaji maombi ya huyo ushirika wenu naona vile unasema na muniombe Nimeacha mtoto wangu akiwa mmoto. Hiyo it is very powerful. Don't despise maombi ya wengine. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Nashukuru Mungu kwa wazazi wetu ambao wame hao hao tu walichapo wakawa. Wanatajaga wana watoto na majina. Hayo maombi ya mama yako imekupeleka baya. Hata wewe jifunze kuombea wengine. Ombea jamii kwa majina. Ombea watu wenu na utamani hata wewe kuwa na ushirika mwema na watu wa kuombe maombi ya wengine hutukoboa kutokana na magereza let me prove act 12 matendo ya mitume 12 aha biblia inasema from from verse 1 verse 1 kama unadhamini maombi ya wengine na wewe ujizoeshe kufanya nini kuombea wengine pita alisaidiwa na maombi ya kanisa so enda kwa ushirika mkaombeane huko ingia kwa maombi ya department huwezi enda hapo peke yako pita alisaidiwa na kanisa niseme hivi kuna watu your freedom iko mkononi mwa mtu hivi your freedom is connected na mtu awe ni spiritual authority wako aseme tu ufunguliwe na ufungulie awe ni mzazi wako Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Awe ni huyo ambaye unaona kama maombi yake si ya maana sana. Lakini kuna wakati our deliverance calls for other people to start with us. Sahi mtu ambaye ako kwa oxygen, sioni akijiombea. Anahitaji na ndio tumewaombea hata kwa ibada hii. Mtu muoheni kuohoro ohoragwe. Nikikuta mtu amefungiwa kwa hii pira itabidi mtu mwingine akuje amfungue some of our destinies are in prisons and it calls for prayers of other people so uwe na balance unajiombea na unaombewa nitarani tanira unajiombea point number 2 na, una, na unaombewa point number 
naye Mungu anaingilia kati point number 1 kwa nini adui hupenda sana wakati amekifunga nigeza ovyokerwa ule agana na captivity ya kiraia ni kitu cha kwanza bwana Yesu apewe sifa ni aibu disgrace and shame ukisoma haya maandiko tumesoma nafikiri ni ile ya kwanza tuliona ya kwamba and the apostles were put in a common prison in a public prison yani goma akeda goku he pata hii revelation unawekwa kwa public prison that is niya moja ya adui kutuweka kwa prison that we may be ashamed lakini tunatangaza aibu si sehemu yetu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo dole wadi hado hakuna kai ginyonawe madani roshe kwenda hospitali si shetani hata mimi huenda at one time or the other hupeleka watoto na unaona ukikiri tamu kwa Mungu na kimudugia fagi usioge kama wana kale ora akora wothe ese shida no ri ga akora okeire rudi kara rudi ruterigite ko yani uko na this is shame hii ni aibu tukatae hizo maaibu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na kama kuna roho tunakataa kwa ibada hii ni public prison jela ya watu wote ati dio tuaibike hapo so fight utoke it is the will of the enemy kile kinalilisha your sisters iwe dicho tu hata wewe kinakulilisha imagine my sisters who are not born again wakipeleka complain ya waume wao nyumbani na mimi niko hapo no kile na haja tukatai common prisons in Jesus name that is one of the purposes of the enemy putting us in common prisons for shame and disgrace isiwe hivyo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kitu kingine is to cause delay hawa mitume walionekana ile speed wanaenda nayo wakawekewa governor you can be put in prison to cause delay delay to your destiny delay to your marriage we kataa hiyo jela uenjoy marriage life hapa duniani juu biguni hakuna so why be delayed kuenjoy marriage kama uko kwa marriage why be delayed kuenjoy material things kwa sababu siko kwa gereza biguni hakuna gari hakuna tuktuk hakuna dege so kama zinakuja ni hapa unawekwa kwa prison you are delayed Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. You are delayed. Captivity yote either ilete aibu ama ilete delay ama kitu kingine naenda kutaja. Lakini tuko hapo kwa delay. Kata kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Olewa umri wa kuolewa. Kata delay. Some of the prisons intention is to delay us. Some of the promotions You don't need them. Imagine promotion after a year retirement. Na umeishi kukanyangiwa pale. Unakuwa promoted after a few months go home. Hiyo tukatae wale tumeajiriwa kwa jina la Yesu. And the last one. Another intention of prison is death. Kuna watu adui amekusudia. Uishi kwa gereza utoke kwa dunia hii kama haujawahi fanyika kile Mungu alikusudia hiyo dinao inaita death kama utaishi kwa captivity wewe ndo kama menya heo dine ke ugakuwa uguo hiyo ni death wewe hutajua marriage mzuri ni nini bwana Yesu apewe sifa wewe hutawahi olewa na ulikuwa na nia na ulipenda kuolewa alafu iishe hivyo Mutorero wa kuthiri oguo gomake manage gukuraga ulikuwa mtumishi mkubwa wa Mungu but ukawekwa kwa prison you never realized you are calling umeingia kwa kaburi yani hutawai jua utashtukia binguni ati hii ilikuwa supermarket yako unauliza ati supermarket jua ta kioski huku wai jua uliishi kwa jela kifungo ya miaka miaka yako yote isiwe hivyo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Tusimame tukataane na umateka wote kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Kila aina ya captivity 